Hello and welcome to Kaka Fina channel. My name is Loma and Hello Taco sale is tomorrow. The sale is happening Saturday through Monday and we will have 10 to 20% off depending on your tier. I personally recommend long-lasting base coat for those of you who want to prevent your nail plates from staining. Well, for the most part. You know, condoms sometimes break too and base coats are unfortunately not 100% safe either from unwanted uh, events. Except for Kelly Marissa, her base coats are always foolproof, but that's just because she's a witch and I am sure she makes her own concoctions in a cauldron in her backyard. Kelly, if you are here somehow please donate me some cleanliness and anti-staining magic of your nail plates thank you if you want a truly long-lasting base you might want to wait for a mooncat sale instead since that one is better for overall longevity on the nails tested and proven by me and now i have candy corn nails but at least i am not pregnant life is all about balance as for the top coat glossy taco is a great top coat to pick up on this sale. It may be not as glossy as Speed Demon from Mooncat, but it doesn't get gloopy as fast. Whichever you get though, you will not be disappointed. I always switch them up and they are both good. A sale day might be a great day for you to try Matte Taco. It is a necessity? Absolutely not. However, if you are eyeing it, now is your chance to try it out for a bit cheaper. Do I use it? Absolutely. The fuck I don't. But there is one singular combo with it that I like, so yeah, totally worth it. I also am now deeply in love with Hollow Taco's cuticle oil pen. It does help to grow your nails if used daily for a fact. Yes, I had the longest nails while using that oil, but also my nails do break all the time, so sadly it is not a miracle oil. And also, I love the packaging since it is super comfortable to use, I reach for it on a daily basis and my cuticles never looked better. So if you need my recommendation on the best oil, Holo Taco is the one. And in addition, one of my subscribers mentioned it is possible to refill it with any other oil you desire. I will do so with my spare syringes I have in my home once I am finished as well. Since Mooncat cuticle oil is great too, but the glass bottle packaging is just highly impractical even though aesthetically pleasing. Also, don't forget to grab some thick with brushes while you're at it because those brushes are the best. Well, if you need any at all. I feel like I have to add one coat black and not milky white to the essentials as well because they are both great polishes and I love them both, therefore I recommend them. One coat black is truly one coat and not milky white is fully opaque in two coats, both great for stamping and as bases for other shades and toppers to make them pop. When it comes to other cremes, I feel like you can skip on most of them in my opinion since Mooncat creams are better and they have more interesting shades. Most Mooncat creams are fully opaque in two coats and some of them are good in one coat only. That being said, if you have any creme colors you've been eyeing, of course get them. I personally have Hot Take for example and I really love it. They are not bad cremes at all, I just feel like Mooncats are a tad better. The formula is more buttery and the polishes just glide on. Also, I feel like you might like Mooncat's creams better if you like a more grungy polish vibe in general. As for the toppers, my forever favorites are Aurora Unicorn Skin, also flaky and scattered are classics as well. If you want something a bit more unique, then I highly recommend getting Falling Flake and Disco Dust Tacos too. While I don't have Fallen Flake yet, my friend uses it pretty often and has a lot of good words for it, which I cannot recall since I have have no memory, but it is in my wish list, and I am waiting for fall to get it. Holo Taco's linear holographic formula I feel you can skip on entirely since the holo in them is not as crazy as in Mooncat's formula. 
Here is a comparison on Fake Halo from Moonkat and a similar shade from Hollow Tackle so you could see the difference. I don't have the latter shade myself, but I have decluttered all the other linear hollows I had just because they are not that hollow. I'm a Virgo though, so it might not suit my overly high standards for all we know. Don't trust anyone 100%. Also, maybe the sun is entirely different where I live since we all live in the Matrix and some idiot who created our universe forgot to make linear hollow as vibrant and as rainbowy for hollow taco too. Feel free to disagree with me in the comments below. Now their glitter formula is very beautiful and I highly recommend getting some glitters from hollow taco to try out. I picked up rainbow snow not too long ago and the formula is very beautiful. The removal as always will be a pain in the soft spot though. As usual with any kinds of glitter polishes, see how I censored myself? I I am so mature in shit. Magnetics wise, I do have a few specific colors to recommend. Love Spell, Wicked Potion, Menchi, and Xylar Cat Eyes. If you like magnetics, you will love these shades for sure. These specific shades magnetize with no problems, what I couldn't say about that blue or purple or brown. Also, Holotaco, why don't you release more fun magnets? Who uses the casual stripe these days? Well, aside from the magnetic beginners. Can someone make some magnetic dicks instead? Or vulvas? That would be so dope. Also, highly recommend their metallic flake formulas, but you will have to trust my word on that since it's impossible to convey all that glory and shine they have in pictures nor videos. And it is also a unique formula to me personally, I don't have anything like it in my collection from other brands. And also, here are a few polishes that seemingly didn't fit into any category, but I really love them, so I do recommend getting them. Deborah, this one goes for you. Never tied down. I do genuinely love this shade and I always look forward to wearing it. Since summer is closing in, it is a great color to acquire. Oh, and also I forgot to mention another creme in the beginning, it's Resting Witch Face. Just your classic purple creme. I do wish it was more intense and more blue, similar to Morgan Taylor's It's Electric, released back in 2014, but nevertheless Resting Witch Face is the best purple I have found from indies as of yet. Don't spend all your money on a holo taco sale because we do have Mooncat sale coming up sometime soon as well. Uh, if you do not have a lot of um, finances to spare for this sale, my top three polishes would be Never Tied Down, Love Spell, and I would say Rainbow Snow is actually pretty dope. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe. That sunscreen glow. Beautiful. And see you in a few mental breakdowns. Okay, bye!